Hello everyone, now today's question is really special and the question is from Vector in Vector 3D. The question is, prove that the acute angle between the two plane faces of a regular tetrahedron is cos inverse 1 by 3. Now they can ask you in the exam to calculate the angle between the two plane faces of a regular tetrahedron. Now this question is really special because in between the way, we're going to, I'm going to teach you many things which are very important for J advance. Okay, so first of all, you can write this as a note. First of all, we want to calculate the acute angle between two regular uh, you can say faces of a tetrahedron. Okay. Now, let's say this is our first plane. I'm taking an example. I'm taking first plane. This is our first plane. Let's say you take one more plane like this. The angle between these two plane faces is theta. Now, if I calculate the angle between the, these two plane faces and between their normals, let's say the n1 is the normal to the first plane and n2 is the normal to the second plane. This is the normal to the second plane. Now I observed that the angle between the two faces is same as the acute angle between the two normals to this plane faces you can say here. Now same logic I'm going to use in tetrahedron. So I'm going to start with the tetrahedron. Let's start with the tetrahedron. In order to draw a tetrahedron, first we need to draw a triangle like this. And then we need to extend one side like this. And if I join all this, we'll get a tetrahedron like this. Okay, let's say one of the vertex is origin because the position vector is very easy to write. Let's say other vector is A vector. This is, uh, let's say the point is A, the other one is B, and this is C. And their position vector is, let's say, A, A vector. This is B, B vector. And this is C, C vector. So I've marked their position vector. One of the vertex I've taken origin for uh, calculation purpose. Okay, the calculation will be very easy. Now, since I've taken the, you can say, position vectors here, A, B, C. What do I mean by regular tetrahedron? Regular tetrahedron means uh, all the triangles here are equilateral triangle. That means all sides are equal, all angles are 60 degree. Now, let's say if I take these two faces, this face and this face, which is coming outwards, I want to calculate the angle between these two. In order to calculate the angle between these two, as I told you, I'm going to calculate the normal. I'm going to calculate the normal to the first plane, that is N1 vector. And normal to the second plane I'm going to calculate. That is N2 vector. Objective is to find the angle between N1 and N2. That is the objective. The angle between N1 and N2 will be our objective and we have to prove it is equal to cos inverse 1 by 3. Now, few notation I'm going to write here. Since all the triangles are equilateral triangle, the first A vector, the magnitude of A vector will be equal to magnitude of B vector and it is equal to magnitude of C vector and it is equal to the magnitude of this side. This side is, I think this side is uh, B vector mod of B minus magnitude of B minus C and this will be equal to magnitude of C minus B and this will be equal to magnitude of C minus A and let's say all are equal to a value that is K. This will help us in the calculation next. Now next is <coughs> I'm going to write the normal vector. So normal vector to the plane O, A, B Let's say this is direction is OA is like this, OB is like this. In order to write N1 here, N1 will be uh, the cross product of OA and OB. So I can write here, this is N1 is A cross B, I can write here easily. Or I can write OA cross OB. The moment you take the clockwise uh, here cross product, you will get N1 vector completely. Similarly, N2, N2 is very easy to write here. This is OB vector, this is OC vector. So if you apply right hand thumb rule, you can easily write B cross C. Now in order to write the angle between these two, I'm going to say cos theta. I'm going to use dot product because from here we'll get N1, from here we'll get N2. Cos theta will be equal to magnitude. Since we are finding the acute angle, I'm going to take mod. Okay. So that is N1 dot N2 upon mod of N1 mod of N2. Now this is we going to calculate and in the throughout the way we're going to learn many things here. Now we have the value of n1 vector, n2 vector I'm going to substitute here. So I'm going to take the dot product. So we got cos theta is equal to mod of, you can write here a cross b dot with uh, you can say b cross c here. And in denominator you'll be having here mod of a cross b. multiplied by that uh, magnitude of b cross c here. Now cos theta will be equal to 
In numerator, if you see here, cross product of two vectors are written, and then dot with again two cross product of two vectors are written. Directly, there is no, uh, you can say there is no method as such. Na? So, in this case, what can we We can take one of the vectors as v vector. Let's say, isko v vector bol denge. Now, I can write this as v dot v cross c. And this is an important step. Hai. After this, I am going to show you one very important step after this. That is, one second. In denominator, it's very easy to write the value because uh, mo mod of a cross b will be mod a mod b, that is k square, and then sine theta, the angle between a and b. As you can see, since I have taken all equilateral triangles, the angle between OA and OB, that is a and b, is 60 degree. So we'll have sine 60, that is root 3 by 2. And here also we'll have the angle between b and c is 60, and we'll get the magnitude as k square, k into k, k square, and then root 3 by 2. Because I've taken the magnitude of all of them as k. Now cos theta. Now this is a very important step here. Now if you think here, v dot b cross c here as a box product is written. Now directly the problem is I cannot take the cross and dot at the same time here. So isko solve kaise karenge? We going to interchange the signs. Okay. We going to interchange the operations here. We going to interchange the cross and dot. So I can write this as. देखो ऐसे लिख सकते हैं इसको. We can write this as v cross b and dot with c. I can write, and this is a very important step. If you don't do this, if you don't do this, it will it will be very difficult to calculate. Divide by we have k raised to power four multiplied by three by four. Now I'm going to calculate here cos theta. So cos theta will be equal to. Now I'm going to put the value of v. That is a cross b. So we have magnitude of a cross b cross with b. So in future, whenever you are stuck in this situation, something like this, you can take one of the vectors as v vector and then interchange the dot and cross because the box product will not change. Again, this is box vbc and this is again box vbc after inter interchanging the sign. Okay, now I'm going to take the dot with c here and divide by. I can write k raised to power four multiplied by three by four here. So from here we'll get cos theta as equal to as mod of now we know how to take the cross product of three vectors so dot product of extremes that is a dot b multiplied with b vector because this is a scalar now minus times dot product of remaining two near ones that is b dot b and then multiplied by a vector here and the whole thing is dot with c and whole thing here divided by k raised to power four multiplied by 3 by 4 here. So from here, we'll get cos theta is equal to magnitude of. Now I'm going to take the everything dot with C. So we'll get here A dot B multiplied with B dot C minus times. We'll get here B dot B that is mod of B square and then remaining is A dot C here. And whole thing divided by K raised to power 4 multiplied by 3 by 4. Now I'm going to simplify. Let me raise this part. So cos theta will be equal to here magnitude of a dot b. So a dot b is mod a mod b that is k square into cos theta. So cos 60 will be 1 by 2 and multiplied by mod b mod b dot c will be mod b mod c that is again k square and half minus times we'll get here b dot b that is mod b square that is k square and a dot c will be k square multiplied by half whole thing divided by k raised to power 4 multiplied by 3 by 4 here. Now here I can cancel k raised to power 4 with k raised to power 4. It will cancel out and we will get here cos theta will be equal to. Now only thing is we need to simplify here. So we will have 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. So 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 and whole thing divided by 3 by 4. So I think here 4 and 4 will cancel out. We got cos theta is equal to 1 by 3. From here, this implies theta is equal to cos inverse 1 by 3. Now, the angle between the two regular faces of a regular tetrahedron is cos inverse 1 by 3. And hence, prove. And that will be all.